Welcome back to Hair of the Dog TV. I am doing an office day, catching up on all sorts of photography work and editing and client design, which is why I look like this. <laughs> and I'm wearing these pants. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to record this for you because I'm creating an album and I just felt like I had to share with you my most favorite album design company because it is so incredibly easy. And that is Smart Albums by Pixaloo. So stay tuned. Let me show you how you can make an album in less than 10 minutes. If you're a photographer that wants to master pet photography or learn more business tips and tricks, we'll go ahead and hit subscribe to this button because Hair of the Dog TV comes out once a week with a new video. All right, let's jump into Smart Albums, shall we? So when we're creating a new project, we just come right in here and it's gonna give you all of these different album companies. I didn't even know there were this many album companies out there um, to work with. I mean, literally, I, I don't even know how many that is. It's a lot. Um, I am actually gonna do Pro DPI for my album. We are going to choose a 10 by 10 and it is going to be the press book with lay flat binding. And then we're going to go ahead and it next. And now we can choose what type of templates we would like um, with square frames or without square frames, only with 3-2 image ratios. Um, I kind of like my images to be their normal size, um, but I'm going to keep it with all of them. So we're going to keep all templates. I like to keep a nice, clear white background, and I'm going to go ahead and put a really thin um, border around my images, um, and then keep a nice gap between my images as well. It can also be thin, um, it can be extra, or it can be thick, but you can also customize it. So I like the thin and the thin. We're going to go ahead and hit start. I will name this, um, this item, and then we're going to go ahead and save it. All right, so now this is up here. We need to add our images, and we're just going to go ahead and drag them and drop them right there, and it's going to import them. Easy peasy. All right, if you want to get a head start, all you have to do is go ahead and hit this auto build, and it is going to tell you how many spreads, how many images per spread. We're going to go ahead and go up to 20 spreads, and we are going to... Um, do smart grouping and go ahead and hit build and let's see what it does. So then it goes ahead and starts to build our images. It kind of keeps them together. Um, and then we can go ahead and just kind of adjust. Sometimes there's too many images on one page, like this is far too many. I'm going to go ahead and add an image right there or split these pages up um, so that I have just the dogs running. And then if I want to change this, I can go ahead and just use my down arrow and it'll adjust to various different um, versions. I think I like, I don't like that the, oh, hold on, we can do this, boop, let's switch. So then the seam's not over the face, um, but then we can go ahead and adjust and just kind of play around with whatever we want to do. So it's really, really easy to kind of go through and build the album this way. All right, for this particular image, we have, again, way too many in there. Maybe if I'm like, all right, I know she didn't really want that image or this image, we can just pull those out of this um, little um, film strip down here and kind of adjust as we go and then be like, all right, I'm gonna work with this many images again. Then we can just go ahead and adjust with our down arrow to go through all these different templates and see what works best for us. Um, and then say you wanted to do it the other way where you don't want it to auto create and then go ahead and edit. You'd rather just kind of edit from the beginning. Um, well, you can just go ahead and grab whatever images you want from this area down below and then just pull them up and they end up being on a new page. And then you can just go ahead and go through to adjust the um, you know different layouts that you can do again with those three images. Here's one more awesome little tip and trick in here too, is that say you're doing a big page like this and you're like, oh man, I really want this image to take up these whole full spreads, but maybe it's not cropping correctly. Um, for instance, I had this one in here and it's, um, I like where the line is, even though this is a lay flat book, I still don't want it over dogs' faces or people's faces. So I like where it's cropping, but I don't like how close the log is to the bottom. 
So you can double click on this and then you can see right over here comes up all these different options. So you can just go ahead and drag on this image and adjust a little bit and bring it up a little bit higher. Um, well, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Command Z just like Photoshop. Um, and then go ahead and hit return when you like that. For this one, let's say I love this spread, but man, I don't like that the dog is again right through that seam. So instead, I can't really adjust it because it's fitting perfectly in here, but I can scale it a little bit and make it a little bit larger. And then I can go ahead and adjust as needed so that I still get, um, you know, I can just adjust those dogs wherever I would like on the uh, palette. So it is just, it's such an easy way to go through and create these albums in a very simple and traditional and um, really classic way that will stand the test of time. These album designs are never going to go out of style. Uh, you can literally create an album in less than 10 minutes and I don't know where I would be without the software. So if you want to check out Smart Albums, we have a link down below. Um, it is absolutely incredible. We also have a special offer down below. So check out those details underneath this video and um, happy album designing.